What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. So we already did a video on Genmoji, which is one of the bigger features in iOS 18.2 that I thought a lot of people would like. There also is another new one in addition to ChatGPT and other features that is called Image Playground. I truly don't think a lot of people will consistently use this unless it maybe be beneficial for your job or something like that. But Image Playground has a number of different tentpole features and really does work pretty well. One caveat that I want to call out before we even jump in this video is that with Image Playground, at least from our usage, whether it was on the betas or now the public release, it gets your device pretty warm to the touch. Let us know in the comments down below if you're experiencing the same issues when using Image Playground but I want to show you how it works and how it is limited in some capacity also. Let's jump into it. So a couple of call outs before you actually jump all the way in to Image Playground here. First, you want to make sure in settings this is enabled. So if you have actually set it up and you've never used it, you will see it is being pushed from Apple themselves right in the settings menu here. And it says image creation tools are here. Genmoji, Image Playground, and Image Wand are now available for your iPhone. Before we jump into that, I want to show you how to activate it. So in settings, under Apple Intelligence and Siri, you actually do have to turn this on. It is not on by default. So once you swipe on, it will actually download Apple Intelligence, and then you will be able to use these features. And this is cross-platform. So on iPadOS, and on Mac OS, these will be available as long as you opt in on one device. Now, hopping out of that, going back into that pop-up, if you do this, it will launch that app we just showed you on the other screen. And here's the prompts you see. It says, Image Playground, help improve Apple intelligence by creating your own images and sharing your feedback. Your, use your imagination, personalize an image, and try different combinations. Once you continue, I do want to call it out not only on that other screen, but also at the bottom here, they are letting you know this is definitely a beta product, so keep that in mind. Under suggestions, what you're going to have is always a recommended image and then different fun ways to create stuff. And you can swipe and get more as you go. And there are a ton of different options here to kind of scroll through. But you also can click on this photo image and you can actually select a photo if you want to start with that and then it'll give you options for a starting point. This will only come up once. Once you select a photo for that person, it will default to whichever image you want. So we'll go ahead and use this one and just say done. And now we'll have her in space with a lighthouse in the back, just for a random image that will get generated for you. And it does pretty well in a short period of time. So you can see here, you have the lighthouse in the back, and it is in space with a picture of my daughter. And you can scroll through about four different pictures that it will generate. In addition to that, once you come to the fourth, you will see a scroll, a spinning wheel on the right, and it will keep generating one more picture as you go. So it will continue to do it. It only takes a couple seconds each. And then if you like what you see here, you can click the three dots, and then you can copy it, share it, save the image, or report a concern. What I'm going to do here is just say done. And then there you go. You can see the whole image is created. And again, you have your whole share sheet now if you want to do it as you typically would. Delete it, edit it, and all of that. Then it does save in the app itself in this grid picture. So let's go ahead and do a different one. And let's just describe a prompt here. Let's say we'll enable dictation. Car driving on the beach with vivid colors and we'll say done, and this will be our new baseline before we even select any other option. While it is creating these images, I do just want to let you all know, the catch here is that Apple Intelligence is only available still currently at the time on iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max devices and the 16 series. Now, I truly think this is just a limitation Apple is initiating on this software to make you want to update because I know the RAM is a big deal for processing all of these imaging and all of that. However, I truly believe older iPhones are still capable to do the same thing. But currently, that is a limitation as well. I just wanted to let you guys know. So don't expect to see this app when you update if you don't currently have uh, one of those devices. 
Now, as you can see, it created quite a good assortment here, but let's say we wanna make it more poppy. Let's add some fireworks. And actually, let's go back and do winter holidays. And you will see it will keep generating new prompts. And they work pretty good and look pretty decent. Also, one other call out I do wanna let you know is if you have something copyrighted, such as a Disney image, this will not work. So I'm gonna go ahead and cancel this, create a new one. And if you said something like a picture of Mickey Mouse holding a shovel and go to create it, you can see right off the top here, it says unable to use that description. So that will not work, unfortunately. If you say a Tesla car on the beach, you can see again, unable to use that description. So it is pretty limited in that regard. However, if you want to come up with a unique image and don't care about specific branding, you could do it because again, back to the Mickey Mouse one, a mouse holding a shovel. If you make it more generic, there is no issues at all generating the picture you want. And they do look pretty good. This will be updated over time with a different visual style. Instead of just this one, there will be more of a sketch style. You currently only have animation and illustration, but if you want to change this and make it more of an illustration, it's simply one click and it just gives you more of a cartoonish image. And you can see how busted this one is. You have two shovel heads. Um, actually all of these, that one looks the best, but it almost looks like his tail is coming out into the shovel and he has another tail on that side. So yeah, it's, it's definitely kind of weird some of these images you get. But again, if you wanna tweak these and say he wanted wearing a beanie and sunglasses, you can do so and it does come out decently well. Um, again, I think this is gonna be fun for people to play around with once or twice or to show people that might not have an iPhone that is compatible. Maybe they'll like it, but in its current form, unless you guys have a difference of opinion, comment down below. I don't see this being very useful or beneficial to a lot of people. Anyways, that is the majority of what you're gonna get here. Again, as you can see, we generated some, saved some, and we're erroring out. You can see it kind of glitching on the screen there. Um, so keep in mind, it's a beta still. Even though the release of iOS 18.2 has gone public and stable, it doesn't mean the apps themselves are fully stable and ready to go 100% of the way. Again, like I said too, if you have an eligible iPhone, like we're using our regular iPhone 16 here, but even if we use our Pro Max, the phone, even through a case, does get very warm. Let us know in the comments if you are experiencing the same thing or if it's just defective phones we have because it definitely gets warm and a little ir irritating holding it when it is like that. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.